All right, what's up, Low Key Gang? So just a little fireworks uh, story since it's uh, July the 5th. Obviously, yesterday was 4th of July, and we went to uh, Murray, Kentucky to watch the fireworks up there, uh, me and some family members. I've been up there a few years, and then uh, last year, I think, was the first year I carried some of my family members up there. But uh, for years and years and years, we would go to Paris Landing, Tennessee, uh, Paris Landing State Park and watch their fireworks uh, display every year and uh, as far as I know they've had it gosh like I said guys for years and years uh, maybe maybe there was a couple years during COVID when they didn't do it uh, I'm not sure but we used to go every year for, for a lot of years and uh, Paris Landing State Park uh, I'll put a link to their to the state park in the description uh, but they had this big fireworks uh display every fourth of july like i said with the exception of those couple years possibly i don't think they did them did them for like a year or two there uh when covid was bad but uh <clears throat> excuse me but we'd go every year and uh this was a, a huge event uh this the park would be just completely packed by the time the uh, uh by the time they shot the fireworks and people, us included, we'd get down there real early in the morning and get us like one of the little campsites there and we'd grill out and uh, any, any of us that wanted to get in the water and swim or, or whatever, the kids, you know, we'd do that. Just make a day of it. It'd be a, it'd be a nice, fun family day. And then let, that night around dark, around 9 p.m., they'd shoot off their, their uh, fireworks. And they always have or always did have a, uh, uh, a pretty... Uh, pretty good uh pretty impressive fireworks display there um uh, like i said i i kind of quit going uh hadn't been down there in a few years but uh, i was just thinking back and recalling uh one of the i would say one of the last times but close to one of the last times i was ever down there they had a little mishap they had a little mishap with the fireworks and uh the best of my recollection what happened was a little bit of a uh a little storm blew in, uh, a little bit of a windstorm, and they they had a they've got like a stage up there where they have uh, performances and stuff, uh, different events throughout the year, I guess. And then back behind that stage, uh, right close to the water, there is where they shoot their fireworks off. Well, this windstorm came up, and and apparently it blew some fireworks over as they were shooting them off and these fireworks started just shooting up through the crowd and uh, of course like i said i was there that year uh first time that i know of and only time that that's ever happened there and uh it, it's kind of funny looking back on it now uh we had one of our friends that was with us of course he's a he's kind of redneck anyway and he's out there just cut off jean shorts and flip-flops and and uh, i can recall him of course, everybody just took off running. These these giant fireworks, like giant glowing basketballs, were just blazing through the crowd of people. And to my knowledge, nobody got injured, nobody got hurt. I think there was a a, a vehicle or two nearby that was that you know sustained a little bit of damage. I think one of the food vendor trailers uh, got hit and had a little bit of damage, but thankfully nobody uh miraculously nobody was injured but uh our buddy in, in his shorts and flip-flops he took off running like everybody else and ran clean out of his flip-flops and got behind a tree and kind of hid behind a tree uh and that's what everybody was doing they were just running everywhere getting behind trees and uh garbage cans vehicles anything they could get behind uh for some shelter uh to keep from getting hit and uh like I said, it's just a miracle that, that nobody was injured during that. Uh, that's the first time I'd ever experienced anything like that. And like I said, I don't think they've had any mishaps uh, like that since then or, or prior to that either. But uh, anybody watching was there in Paris Landing State Park the 4th of July of that year. And I can't remember what year it was. Uh, I lose track of time. Uh, and gosh it's probably been i'm going to say somewhere in the neighborhood of 
10 plus years ago that that happened. Uh, it's, it's been a while. And like I said, I'm not good with, with keeping up with time. It, it goes by so fast, I really wish it would slow down. But if anybody watching was there at Paris Landing State Park that year, uh, comment and tell us about you know your experience with, uh, with that event, uh, if you were there. All right, guys, just a little 4th of July firework mishap story uh that i had there it's not not as funny as the uh uh the guy in the wheelchair terry that's that's hilarious everybody's seen those videos over the years uh get out of the way terry move out of the way but uh nevertheless it was just a, a fireworks mishap that i was present for uh like i said at the time it was not funny it was kind of a scary event uh everybody was just trying to take shelter and and keep from getting hit but and apparently everybody did a good job at doing that but uh comment let us know if you were there when that happened uh if you have a story about that all right guys thanks for watching